Hello everybody, this is Code2J. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn Apache Airflow. So what is Apache Airflow? It is an open sourced tool which we can create, schedule, and monitor many kinds of workflow. It is the perfect tool to use when we have a workflow with tasks 1, 2, 3, which should be run periodically in specific order. Airflow is based on Python. If you already have some coding experience with Python, you are good to go. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's create a Python project and install Airflow. I'm going to open Visual Studio Code to create a project folder and open it. And I will name it Airflow Tutorial on the desktop directory. Let's open a terminal and check whether I am in the right directory or not by command pwd. Since Airflow 2.1 requires a Python version above 3.6, let's check my Python 3 version by command Python 3 minus minus version. As we can see, my local Python 3 version is 3.6.7 and meets the requirements. That's great. You can also use version 3.7 or 3.8. Let's create a Python environment with command python3 minus m vinf with environment folder named py underscore inf. Once created successfully, we can see the py underscore inf folder in the explore section. Now let's active the Python environment. Use command source py underscore inf bin active. When activated, we can see the py underscore inf on the very left of the terminal prompt. Next step, I'm going to install Airflow locally. Let's open browser and search Apache Airflow official GitHub repository. and navigate to the install section. I will copy the install command and paste it in the terminal. Before executing, I have to change the dependency to man match my local Python version. Instead of 3.7, we change to 3.6. Oops, there's an error of missing G GCC. To solve this problem, I have to run command xcode minus select install to install Mac OS command line tools. The installation takes a couple of minutes. After that, we execute the pips install command again. This time, there's no error. Therefore, Airflow is installed successfully. Okay, next step, I'm going to initialize the database for Airflow. Before that, we have to indicate the Airflow home directory. By default, it will create a folder Airflow in home directory. However, I would like to have everything in my project directory. So I export the Airflow home environment variable to my current directory.
Then I will initialize the database with command airflow db init. This command will create a SQLite database, a log folder, and some configuration files. Next, I will start Airflow Web Server by command Airflow Web Server minus P8080. By default, 8080 is the port to be used. If you want, you can also other, use other port, for example, 8088, 8082, as you wish. Then let's open the link in the browser. It requires me username and password to log in. Okay, let's go back into the terminal, stop the Airflow web server and create one user by command Airflow users create and give value to parameters as shown in the help output. By setting the password, we start the Airflow web server again, and we are ready to sign in. It looks great. I can see all the example decks, but over that, it says there's no schedule running. Okay, in order to execute the DAX, we have to start the Airflow scheduler. Let's go back to VS Code, open another terminal. First, we have to make sure we export the Airflow home environment variable as we did in the first terminal. Then, we execute the command Airflow scheduler. Now, let's go back to browser and refresh the page. We can see, boom, the message is gone. It means the scheduler is running properly. Let's turn on one example DAC by clicking the button before the DAC. From the tree view, we can see this DAC has multiple tasks. When we click the refresh button on the right hand side, we can see the tasks have been scheduled and executed. And it has been marked as dark green once it has been run successfully. That's it. We have installed it and got Airflow running successfully. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you in the next one.